hours away from the total solar eclipse happening Monday afternoon. And while Metro Detroit is not in the path of full totality, we'll still be able to catch a glimpse. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 11. I'm Simon Shaykat. Tomorrow afternoon, the moon will completely block the sun, sending us into minutes of darkness. 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock shows us how Metro Detroiters are preparing to watch the eclipse. A total solar eclipse comes around once in a blue moon, so many people do not want to miss it. Metro Detroiters will be able to see 99% of it. Now, if you plan on watching, just make sure you have your glasses. I probably won't see it again. I hope I will. I'll be 80 by the time it comes back. And it doesn't happen very often. So, yeah, I'm excited about seeing it. Many people came into the Oak Park Public Library on Sunday to grab solar eclipse glasses. We've had a tremendous response to handing out the solar eclipse glasses. Kimberly Schaff is with the library. She says they had a little over 1,000 pairs of glasses. By the time the library closed, they had handed out all of them. We're just happy to have the opportunity to uh, help people view this very interesting phenomenon. The Oak Park Public Library is one of many local libraries that will be hosting eclipse watch parties. It's very special for the library to be involved in this. It's a community service and a, an educational opportunity and a chance to bring everybody together. Schaff says their watch party is at capacity, but there are plenty of other watch parties happening around Metro Detroit on Monday. Just to name a few, select Detroit Public Library locations, the Detroit Riverfront at Cullen Plaza, Lawrence Tech University in Southfield, the Ann Arbor Public Library on 5th Ave. Most of the viewing parties will kick off in our area at around 2 p.m. on Monday. Make sure you look up what events are happening near you. The next time a total solar eclipse comes around is 2044. Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News.